Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing great. My name is Olia Sell and Matt P is back with the Halloween special edition Deku Crate. In this video, I will be unboxing it as you guys join me to show you the 15 items provided in this suitcase here. You will be able to purchase the Deku Crate from October the 1st until the 31st of October for 3,000 lindens. So let's get to opening it. It is in a form of a vintage suitcase. All you have to do is click on it and and it will automatically open and get you out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Okay. On the left is all of the 15 compartments that contain your items. And on the right, you have three pretty self-explanatory buttons. Unpack all, delete, and join group. By clicking unpack all, you will automatically be receiving your items one by one. The delete button will just auto-delete your crate or suitcase rather. But before you do that, make sure you click the join group button to be part of the Mad P group. It comes in super, super handy. But if you want to take your time and have fun with it, just click an individual compartment like so. Right here on the left, it will open and it will send you the item corresponding to that drawer. Once you are done unpacking it, click delete and the suitcase will just poof away. Okay, so let's get to unboxing. Our first item is from Consignment. It is called Come Take It School Table. It is absolutely stunning when it comes to detail and personally, it is triggering my pattern phobia a little bit. <laughs> the small skulls on top of the large skull and then it hits you with the venomous snakes slithering through it. This table is only two land impact as shown, but I did resize it for you guys and it can get pretty dang big for five land impact. Next, we have Minimal with their item called Dark Background. Minimal has always outdo themselves when it comes to the textures and the capture of their visions when it comes to their items related to photography. So if you are into taking pictures, you are in for some over-the-top pictures with this backdrop. It definitely captures the eerie and sorrow at the same time, but a picture is a million words, so have fun with this one. Uh, you are getting two versions of the backdrop. One is with actual poses in the chair for male and female and one without it so you can use your your own and this backdrop is only 13 land impact next we have Colopsia with their kutsi set so this is a little break from dark and scary to more cute scary so if you're having a trick-or-treat event or even a family party this is perfect decor for you guys this set comes with a candlestick but i did rest four of them for my decor purpose then your candy bowls in shapes of a pumpkin a ghost and a cat you guys are also getting the garlands in each shape of the pumpkin that ghost and the cat so you guys can decorate as you please and of course the console for you to put your items on the candlestick the candy um, bowls and the console are one land impact each and the garlands are the ones that are two land impact each now we have serenity style we are going back to a little more deep scary we have the byron cemetery set so it does come for you to set it up as you please i am horrible when it comes to decorating so i did my best here to showcase it for you guys it comes with the cemetery doors left and right obviously the iron fence the post cemetery wall and two types of uh, tombstones to different coffin tombs uh, cross burials and it seems like a pretty small burial so that makes it 10 times more sad and a cross tombstone so let your imagination run wild with this decor set to make it as scary as you want and the set rest out is a total of 38 land impact as you see it in the folder Next, we have Crescendo with the Marion Shower. You have both options of adult or PG versions. Let me tell you that there is more than enough poses in this bathroom for your role play needs. They are absolutely amazing. It is an amazing bathroom. I'm showing you the bloody bathroom scene because Halloween, but it does come with a HUD with more textures for you guys, which I will show you right now. So this is what the HUD looks like and provides you with the textures for the wall, the hexagon, not hexagon wall and the metal textures and even the back wall textures of the shower as well. The shower is 11 land impact. Talia is next. We are talking and feeling fancy schmancy with these items. It is the Lestat set along with a rug. The textures on it are stunning as you guys can see. This furniture piece is provided in adult as well as PG in your folder. The HUD does present you guys 
with a few colors for the leather as well as the metals and of course uh, the rug. The spider webs that you see on them are actually optional. You can take them off in the HUD as well and I just wanted to show them to you because again the spooky feel but the rug is 5 land impact and the set is 15 land impact. Next is Chess Moy with the creepy and cute inflatable entryway. Yes, that is its well-deserved name. I said it right in front of my home and it is just its title, creepy and cute. The traditional witch is on the left and the Halloween trunk on the right. The entry is the black and white house with a few friends peeking through the window. I resized mine here, but rest out of the folder, it is 18 land impact. Craftworks has a beautiful fall dinnerware set. It includes these lovely and colorful centerpieces for your table with corduroy pumpkins along with some branches and leaves. For my table, I used two copies of one and the blue one as the main centerpiece. There's two place settings with pumpkin bowl and two place settings with pumpkin soup, as well as a set of glasses, which sadly and horribly completely forgot to rest for you guys. But here's a picture of the glasses from the ad. I really do apologize for that. I completely don't know what happened there but with that let me show you how vivid these textures are and how lively your dining room or your dining area will be with this set not to mention the compliments from when you have your gatherings with friends and family so the place settings with the pumpkin bowl is three land impact the place setting with the pumpkin soup is four land impact and the set of glasses is only one land impact and center decors are only three land impact each DAD Virtual Living is next with the Harvest Composition. This decor item can definitely go anywhere, but I decided to set it in my kitchen to show you guys and also because the adornment is on a wood uh, cutting board. So the land impact as shown is 8 land impact and of course it is resizable. Pilot is next with a set, spooky set. I'm going to call it. It is a dust covered chair dust cover table and a snake cloche. Uh, the chair table and snake cloche come in various colors by the way. I just put the Halloween themed ones uh, for the feel of Halloween deco crate. Uh, these items are for decor only. The chair is two land impact. Table is one land impact as well as the snake cloche. Next is moss and mink. One of my favorite pieces from this crate. It is a coffin day bed. <laughs> it comes in two colors as you can see here. One is white and the other is black with a touch of other colors for the look. It is an adult day bed but it comes with poses for singles as well as PG poses for couples and obviously your X time poses. Uh, these coffin day beds are only 10 land impact each and of course they are resizable. <laughs> That was the Ring Around the Rizzy sung by Ghost Kids coming from the rigging coffins by Balaclava. That is one of the few things that actually scares me. It's ghost children in general and then on top of that singing <laughs> so the rigging coffin comes in three versions one is the scripted one that you see here as well as with sound whatever is inside the coffin trying to get out then you have an empty coffin for decor and the coffin with the monsters inside it's just not scripted so the coffin with the monsters are five land impact each and the empty coffin is only two land impact Black Nest brings you guys the Belladonna bed. It is provided in a PG version as well as the adult. The adult bed is for males and females, males and males and female, female. You are also getting a hat that allows you to change the textures for the base, the mattress, the cover, and the pillows, and also a hat for the curtains, which gives you the same matching textures as the bed and also textures for the metals. The bed is seven land impact and the curtains are 13 land impact. All right, guys, two more to show you. This next one is Miroc with Rose's Vanity. Rose is such a beautiful name, by the way, and it's always, well, not always, but it's often used in vintage scary movies for some reason. And these are the vibes I'm getting from this item, of course. It is a pretty old vanity with broken drawers, and there is some old beauty items here, the perfume bottle, the broken hand mirror, and the stunning hair pen which are all linked together 
and the dusty hat box underneath as well. So because of the items being linked, those are only one land impact. The hat box is one land impact also, and the vanity is eight land impact with the pretty cool changes uh, in texture of the mirror that you can do. All right, guys, this is the last item we're showing or I'm showing to you guys are unboxing. It is from Verona's and it's the Dusk Hall Cell. So it is a, a skybox and this is going to be the entrance per se. Of course, you obviously cannot open it, but I wanted to show you where it started. So then we are going to go down the stairs. I probably should show you. There we go. That is where you would enter and come down here. So here is to my right, one kind of sort of open cell and there is blood stains on the medieval um, bed that they have there. Then there's a clean version over here with doors. I'm not sure if there's a sound to this. Oh, there is. All right, so looking at it more closely, then there is uh, quite a bit of blood there after some torture or whatever happened here. And also the beds actually have poses. So there is single uh, male and female, male and male and female and female. So you are having an adult uh, box. I am going to get out of here and show you the rest of it. Then there is actually there's just those two and a little bit of decor here and just this door for I guess uh, the decor purpose because there uh, there's no more room in there. You can't go in there. All right. So this is it, you guys. This is what it looks like on top. Very detailed, actually. Looks amazing um, with the lighting here and oh. I jinxed myself, but nonetheless, this one, it is at 172 land impact. And of course, stunning textures, beautiful. And I will show you what it looks like on the outside. Ta-da. All right, you guys. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me in opening the Halloween special edition deco crate by Mad P. Hopefully, um, everything was clear for you guys anything else you would like to know there is more information and the links i will be leaving in the description box as well as the landmark so you can go and get your own deco crate have fun unboxing have fun decorating and i will see you guys soon bye bye